Hello and welcome back. Uh, we will be looking at cloud concepts in this lesson, especially for the comparing as well as the we do the contrasting the three different cloud models that is the public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. In our last few lessons, we learn each of these models individually and also we learn about the best use case. The summary for the public cloud model was a multi-tenant implementation and uh, that means the multiple customers used the same set of hardware like storage servers, things like that. The main point of a public cloud is that you are sharing resources with others but you are doing in a way to lower your own cost and lower the management and administration of the resources in your end. Using the public cloud is best for one of these uh, scenarios. Let's take one of the example uh, that we discussed. For example, uh, your company developing some of the new applications and that no need to communicate with your on-premises service. Uh, so in that situation, you can simply spin up into the public cloud. So that's anyway not communicating anything with your on-premises or maybe data is not storing anything on your on-premises. Uh, on in that situation, that's the best uh, use case for transitioning to the cloud. So whatever the new upcoming service will come, you will start provisioning into public cloud. And the good way to keep your cost down as you deploy all these new applications. Additionally, if you're writing new applications, the systems, the public cloud model is probably the best approach to take, uh, take it as well, because it's going to uh, let you write your applications in that, um, in what's called a cloud native way. And that just means that you can write your applications in a way that most take advantage of the all features of the cloud. So by doing this, you are kind of reducing you reducing the need of any kind of customizations or need for a private cloud or anything like that. Like servers, uh, if you take it as example of web applications or hosting uh, web uh, applications in a, maybe in a public cloud, uh, such things will uh, make it uh, easy for us because they are suitable for uh, easily for the cloud model uh, so that you don't have much management on those uh, machines. But again, with all this, main, main point of all these was uh, that they really have the best candidate for the public cloud is just an application or the workload that do not need much customization. That's the point we should always keep in our mind because in any way of uh, customizing the servers or security and things like that, because if you start doing uh, like a Data, com data security and such things, you might have to go for the private cloud because of those customizations that demands your business. When we talk about the private cloud, uh, if you are looking for data that must be stored on your on-premises or shouldn't go to the public cloud, in that situation, you might be uh, have to consider for the private cloud. Uh, that way you can uh, you can fulfill your hardware layer or maybe your security or physical security. All that uh, can be addressed with the private cloud model. So most of the companies will end up uh, with the hybrid cloud where they talk about the public and the private bridge connectivity between these two so that the systems that do not want to contact with the on-premises they simply host on the public cloud and the systems that are needs to be uh, or data must be on our on-premises we would just simply put into the private model but we would actually uh, make them to enable to communicate with each of these uh, private and public cloud models. So that way um, you are going to establish a hybrid cloud model that uh, is a best combination uh, for the private uh, or the public cloud models. And this will actually make easy and uh, this is the one of the fastest model or most of the companies they use the hybrid cloud model. A really good case, uh, use case can uh, talk about the hybrid cloud would be uh, you are trying to transition uh, from uh, your on uh, hybrid from on-premises to the cloud. Uh, if you are having an on-premises data center which is with your private cloud and you wanted to start using Azure as a public cloud, uh, then taking this hybrid approach would be a great first step and you can keep your existing on-premises data center but you can uh, just uh, set it up your public cloud 
uh, and Azure uh, for upcoming servers that are not really need to communicate with your on-premises servers. You can um, even uh, wire up with the two to communicate to each other, but it's not a fully uh, rewritable of your system. You're not uh, taking up on-premises data center offline on, or maybe on immediately switching off to Azure at all. So it might take some time to uh, go for that transition time. So in that situation, you might be ending up with this hybrid cloud environment. We are uh, setting up essentially a second data center with the Azure public data, uh, public cloud data center and Azure and you're going to eventually migrate all of these resources from your on-premises on your uh, private dot, private uh, cloud uh, to public cloud. So it's a great, again, the first step in transition to the cloud by setting up the uh, public cloud that you or your private cloud can start offloading the work to. And so I hope this has been uh, helpful in clarifying different situations that might you want to consider using these different uh, cloud models in uh, whether it's a public or private or hybrid. Thank you for watching this. I'll see you in the next lesson.